Welcome. This is the Green Bar Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotion for Saturday, September the 10th. Today we are reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 8, verses 21 through 30. Here's the word of the Lord. Once more Jesus said to them, I am going away and you will look for me, and you will die in your skin. Where I go, you cannot come. This made the Jews ask, will he kill himself? Is that why he says, where I go, you cannot come? But he continued, you are from below, I am from above. You are of this world, I am not of this world. I told you that you would die in your sins if you do not believe that I am he. You will indeed die in your sins. Who are you, they asked. Just what I have been telling you from the beginning, Jesus replied. I have much to say in judgment of you, but he who sent me is trustworthy, and what I have heard from him I tell the world. They did not understand that he was telling them about his Father. So Jesus said, When you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you will know that I am he, and that I do nothing on my own, but speak just what my Father has taught me. The one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone. For I always do what pleases him. Even as he spoke, many believed in him. And that is the word of the Lord. The article today is titled, Never Solo, by Kyle Tyler. It was Jesus' unique communion with the Father that gave him authority. In verse 28, Jesus points back to the Father as his source and his captain. He says he does nothing on his own. Where will this end up for him? On a cross. He knew it, but he was committed to it anyway. Imagine being so committed to our relationship with God that we will do nothing on our own. Imagine if every move of every day was done in order to lift up. The Greek here means exalt our maker. Imagine if, even in the smallest things, we considered our place in the story of grace as we did it, or even as our reason for it. Imagine if we struck, if we stuck to this narrative even as it led us to our cross. Imagine following God to a place in which we didn't defend ourselves, didn't try to get the last word, and remain committed to love even our enemies in word and action to the last. Imagine the authority God would command in the world through you. And the title of the hymn today is Let the Beauty of Jesus Be Seen in Me by Albert Orsman. But let the beauty of Jesus be seen in me, all his wonderful passions and purity. And from the book of Isaiah, chapter 43, verses 18 and 19. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. And this is your daily devotion for Saturday, September the 10th. Have a blessed day.